Donald Trump was busy on Easter as he always is on every holiday, perched on the toilet, posting on social media, things like this, you know, Christian stuff like this. Happy Easter to all, including crooked and corrupt prosecutors and judges and blah, 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 on and on and on, all caps. That's the longest social media post I've ever seen. Every word is insane. Every word Happy is Easter, capitalized. Everyone. What does this have to do with Happy religion Easter. or Easter? But anyway, we're not reading that message. We're also not going to read any of the dozens and dozens of other messages he posted throughout Easter. Uh, Rost or media, I should say, counted 43 posts. Another source put it at 77. And obviously, we're not going to show you those. But I think we can all say that while everybody is responsible for their own social media activity, you can post whatever you want to post. If you uh, post once in a day, fine. If you post five times in a day, fine. If you want to live tweet the final episode of Game of Thrones and you post 20 tweets in a day, that's fine. But when you hit 77, you should be locked up for a while for your own safety. <laughs> that's insane. And only people like Donald Trump, Elon Musk, and Glenn Greenwald ever do that. These people desperately need assistance because that ain't normal. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. There's only one of his posts that we are gonna focus on, and you probably already can guess which it is. It's this one, him posting a 20 second video of a pickup truck with flags, you know, representing the fact that cops should freely kill people and face no consequences. And of course, if you zoom in, as we will on another truck who has the same thing, Joe Biden hogtied on the back. Of it. So Donald uh, Joe Biden has been kidnapped. He is now being dragged away by a right winger to best case scenario, be tortured, probably murdered. I think the idea is that he'll be murdered. I don't think the idea is that they're gonna hog tie him, drive him around and return him to his loving family and role as our POTUS. I think the idea is they're gonna kill him. And I think Donald Trump knew that when he posted it. So. This is Donald Trump once again encouraging his followers to incite violence against Joe Biden. I want, I, Trump, want all of you to fantasize about kidnapping and murdering our president. So that's fun on Easter. What do you think? Yeah. Um, and yet he's out on bail in all of these cases. And here he is allowed to post. Um, political violence like this, stir it up within his base, um, a base that's already done political violence, not just on January 6th, but years and years prior to that and, and ongoing. But again, this is our justice system that allows him to freely post. Like he, I know there's talk of maybe how much to censure him or if, and it, Mark my words, it will not happen. He will be allowed to keep posting. He will be allowed to have access to the internet. He certainly won't be detained. Um, like, and this is what we're flirting with in the highest um, court in our country says, no, he totally can run again for office, not a big deal. And not really legally, but because they're afraid yep. what will happen if they prevent him from the ballot. Like how long? Do we all just say, you know, I'm afraid of fascism, so I'll allow fascism. Like yeah. at some point, you, we actually have to stand up for this country. And at some point, we also have to recognize that the people who are super excited about Donald Trump being in power again are the wealthy, are corporations, are all the billionaires who are trying to figure out how they go Dutch to like help him out of his legal troubles. 100%. Yeah. The, the ones who won't stand up against it uh, seem to be indicating, and they're too cowardly to even say it. Uh, I guess fascism is just gonna come and I don't wanna raise my hand and be one of the first that's you know, removed from my position, banned, murdered by the state. It's gonna happen, People, that's gonna happen to people. I just don't wanna be one of the first ones, so I'll just yep. let it happen and I'll stay silent. That's what it feels like. Oh, I won't prevent it. I am in a position no, of power no. right now to prevent it and I won't, I won't prevent it. Yeah, because I listen to the right wingers that we just talked about, and somehow I think I'm going to buy into their reality, which is not reality. Like the courts are run by the left, not reality at all, and we're just going to go with that. I mean, it's just yeah. how much can you give and give and give? And this is why it's like 
Screw Republicans, screw the Republican Party that's now like, you know, Trump is a bridge too far. You have been grooming the American people for this moment. Your entire yeah. you know, ethos has been grooming the American people for fascism as you consistently put profits over people. 100%, yeah. Um, and I'll close with this. Uh, when I had my daughter, I found that I did not have much time for social media anymore. I had a little tiny baby girl, and because of that, I can't post much. Trump has like eight children. 30 businesses, he's running for president, and he's facing 91 indictments. And he found time on Easter to post 77 times. And they believe that this guy's religious. Or, or, or that his that family loves him. him. He has billions of dollars, and he's not spending that having fun or having experiences. He's on social media all day long. When are we as a society gonna identify that this is a particular modern form of at least behavioral disorder, if not outright mental illness. Yes, where we are you, run by severely, like terminally online man babies. Yeah.